Hello, I've been at the Pi Bay Conference, and one of the luminaries there said he recommended the Programming Pearls books by John Bentley. And I've been looking through one of them, and there's a problem here. Given a dictionary of English words, find all sets of anagrams. Um, pots, stop, and tops are all anagrams of one another because they can each be formed by permuting the letters of the others. So I thought it might be fun to write a Python program to do that, and then a little game that uses the anagrams. Here's the game. Let me run it. You can read the little instructions there while I get going. Uh, whoa. Gel. Rab? No. Bar. Bra. Bus. Sub. Part. Tarp. Tarp? T-A-R-P. Interesting. It didn't have tarp in the dictionary. But it did have Pratt, Wrapped, and Trap. Okay. Rate. Tear. T-A-R-E. That's a word, too. Hmm. Well, that's what happens when you use incomplete dictionaries. Tend. Dent. Sure. Ruse. Fate. A-T-E-F. This one I don't know. T-E... T-E-A-F. Feet. Wake. Um, okay, so you see it goes from here. Every time I get five right, then... Um, it goes to words that are one letter longer. Why don't we see how this works? There's an anagrams module that we'll look at in the next video. And it has a class, and then this type for typing hints. And then there's another module that will get words from a file. So that's this. Um, you give it a file name, and it'll give you the words in the file. And I've got these words, so here's 3,000 common words, and a little comment at the top. And then here is 50,000 words. And this reads them in and returns, um, well, this is a generator um, function, so it, it's an iterator of the strings, the words. And then this function here gives words by length. So um, it takes all the words and sorts them by their length and then groups them by their length. So you end up with a dictionary keyed by the length of the word and with a value of a list of all the words with that length. Okay, back to the game. Um, two letter words are too easy. So we set the minimum word length to three. And then we instantiate an object of this anagrams class, and we give it all the words from the many words file and the minimum word length. Then we need to find the common words because we're going to choose the words that get presented to the player from the common words. We're trying to avoid showing some really obscure word that nobody knows, like... Well, you probably see some in here. Um, so we look at this method I showed you a minute ago, this function that gives the dictionary with the keys that's the length of the words and then the list of the words that are that length. So that's our common words by length. And then since this game goes in stages, we start with the current word length being the minimum word length. And zero correct answers at the beginning. Here are the instructions. A loop that goes on forever, and really the game just keeps going. Uh, you have to kill it to stop. And it finds the words of the current length given the current word length. So when we start, the current word length is three, so this gets a list of all the three-letter words. And then we randomly choose a number between one and one less than the number of words, and that's our random word index. And we use that to pop out, to remove from the list, the particular word at that 
index. So at this point, we have a chosen word, which is a string. Then we call the anagrams object. There's an of method here that returns anagrams of the word given. So we give it the chosen word, and it returns anagrams of that chosen word. And this type is a list of string. So this is the anagrams of the chosen word. And then we display the chosen word and get the response. And then if the answer is in anagrams of chosen word, then it's correct. And so we add one to the correct answers. And then we print this message here, how many correct answers there are. And then um, every five, so correct answer, correct answers modulo five equals zero every five times. Uh, and if there are still longer words, then we increment the current word length. If, you, if they don't get the word right, then we print this oops, and then we join together the anagrams of the chosen word and separate them by commas and show them that. So that's the game. The code is on GitHub, and I'll put the link in the description. And I'll see you in the next video where I discuss the details of the anagram module and class.